and improve balance. We talked about that. So even if we have a little back pain, dancing does help, but it depends on what type of dancing you're doing, okay? Right. Right. Whether you're moving side to side, you're actually just actually just relieving some of that pressure that may be on the spine. There are some people who can't do it at all, and I understand, but some type of movement will help with relieving any of that pain. Mm -hmm. The other thing I love about dancing is that it what? It's balancing, we said that. We already talked really? about coordination, and we also talked about fall prevention. We do not want to fall. All right, I got a church. All right. <laughs> All right, this is why I'm here because it helps do what? It helps your what? Improve your memory. And one thing it does is that when we were younger, we could multitask, am I right? right. We could do more than one thing. And I'm learning at the age of, uh, and I know y'all would say she's so young. At the, age of, at the age of 54, I'm learning I can't do much of that anymore. Because I used to be here, there, near the there, and then, at the end of the day, I would be okay. I don't have that okayness no more, <laughs> you know. So it's one thing at a time. So here we go. It improves your memory. And here, it helps coordinate movement, rhythm, brings awareness to your brain. Awareness. It wakes your brain up. Yes, it does. Yeah. The it other reason why, huh? It has to wake your brain up. It has to. Number two is the reason why I really dance now is memory recall. Oh, That's what comes in. Come it says remembering <laughs> dance sequence steps. Remember we talked about that. Right. Help maintain um, cognitive function and improve. Let me tell you why. I just went to a whole community event where we all grew up and they had this reunion. Can I tell you it was two people that I could not identify another name, but they knew my name. And I was like, all I had to say was, all I could say was, hey! Y'all never did that. Then just, all the time. Okay. All the time. And then I get in my car, my sister seems to have that memory of knowing she's only one year younger than me. And I'm like, well, who was that in the purple shirt? And who was that in the pink shirt? You know? And I'm like, my dad is 78 and asked those questions. And I'm 54 asking those questions. We got a problem. <laughs> So it helps with memory uh, recall, all right? Yes. The other thing it helps with neuroplasticity, which helps with the, actually yes. with the neural, the, the, uh, the neurons and things that are pathways that are in your brain that causes you to function, all right? Which supports your brain health. And of course we know if we all dance together, we gonna have a good social interaction. All right, so if I start popping it like that, everybody be like, look at that girl, we put that music on. I'm a music person. You put that music on and I'll be like, where, where, is, where is the problem? Yeah, I didn't even do that with church. When them drums start, I'm the one coming down the aisle like, <laughs> y'all see my new dress. <laughs> Start dancing. 
I watched them did well, not with dishes is not accomplishment. It's just like a chore. That's a rough thing, you know. Uh, or you can be like, uh, cause some people do have like arthritis and they can't really fold like a lot of clothes because they're fingers and things. And so you can be like, um, I fold those towels. I fold those towels. You gotta learn to celebrate yourself. Because nobody will celebrate you. And I have found that there are some people that will celebrate you, but it's nothing like when you start celebrating yourself. Uh, so here we go. Boost mood, stretch relief. And y'all need to tell some of these adult children, go somewhere and go, but well, they dance all the time, but they still come home mad, don't they? <laughs> they do, they look like they're mad. I'm like, girl, you just, I thought you went out last night, you mad. Yeah, so it helps do that for us. The next thing here is that I put here was a study by the Journal uh, of Aging, and it just shows and it proves to you that it does lower the risk of dementia. Okay? So it's just saying that the things that you did when you were younger, you should never stop doing. We slow down, am I right? Because ailments, our knees, our shoulders, things like that cause them to slow down. But if you can find food, Woo. The food is another thing too. We ain't gonna talk about the food, but yeah. So those things, it has been studies have shown they has improved people's cognitive function. All right. I know when I go back next year, I'm gonna remember somebody's name. I wrote the name down, purple shirt, <laughs> tall, this that. Uh, you know, I mean, I just. That's what I used to do when I was in college. I couldn't remember the uh, instructor, but I think it was nine. And I write all that stuff down like you said you did. Yeah, write it down. And I even still do that day uh, when I go to places and stuff. It's just, and you know, one of the worst things for me is parking in a parking deck. If I park in a parking deck, if I don't turn around at the doctor's office at like a UNC and take a picture of the color column that I'm on, I'll be on purple when I pop the orange. <laughs> All right, so there are studies that show that it does improve your cognitive function, okay? The other reason why you should dance is because everybody has still got creativity inside of them. Some of us knit, some of us still like to paint. What's your creativity? Play games. Play games, create games. Some of us have creativity and so dance actually inspire us to keep on using our creativity. The one thing, and there was another study that showed that, I should have put it up, but it showed that even in when we get to a certain age, our creativity becomes more, like in this more uh, fascinating way, where we start beginning to do the things that we love without saying, I cannot do it. So what they were saying in that study was that if you like to paint, you paint with your own creativity. If you like to just, you know some people make with the clay thing, just make that. But it's all inspired by dancing, okay? All right? And so at the end and the conclusion here, because we gonna dance, okay? All right, she said, oh Lord. It, trust me, I ain't got but one song. Oh Lord. And it's three minutes. <laughs> that is so long. No, 2.5. We can cut it off. Okay. So it incorporates dance into your lifestyle will make you what? Happier? Healthier? All right. And it's going to prove your what? Memory and your emotional well being. All right. Y'all ready to get started? We're ready. Wait a minute. What is going uh, uh, One walked out. I will walk out. She's, she's I think y'all know this line dance right here. Y'all hear this all the time at an event. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? I'm gonna use this one right here because it's got the words on it. Did she go to the bathroom? No, she no, she's she's So the, the whole point here is to let you know that keep moving no matter what, okay? All right, you ready? We can start dancing. Oh. I chose this one. It, oh, I'm sorry, it's 3.4. We got it, y'all. The virgin gorilla. Put this down. Uh, you know, pause. Huh? She got the radio on. Oh, does she? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. 
expanding your lungs like you should okay um, and study shows that we do breathe differently as we age okay mm -hmm. so a good breath work class is good all right so here it boosts your mood relieves your stress give you a sense of confidence 
And not only that, my blood pressure is going where? Down. So when I go to that doctor's office and I put it on the table, you don't need that no more. What you been doing? I've been dancing. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Come on, dog. Chris, before you write another script. <laughs> Well, you write another script. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to just give y'all that. And the reason why I love teaching this kind of stuff is because I, too, try to figure out ways to improve my memory. Mm -hmm. right. And I, what is your name? Rhonda. Rhonda, Rhonda what? Mac. Rhonda Mac. M-A-C? M-A-C-K. Oh, that is awesome. You know some Macs? Yes, yeah, so I'm on TV. <laughs> she said, Miss Bob. She said, Bernie Mac. She said, Bernie Mac. I said, Bernie Mac. I said, Bernie Mac. There is a pro football player. Last name is, I think he played for the Eagles. Last name Mac. And I went to a game. I said, Oh my God, my cousin is doing so good. They were like, That's your cousin. I'm in my head, like, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> But these things does help. I think the last time I was here, did I teach the power of clapping? No. I, I think I talked about clapping and why you should clap, all your organs in your hands. We did. We, did. we talked about that. I talked about how all your organs is in the bottom of your feet. And by us just sitting there stomping like that, That's right. do you know you have already started getting That's your right. organs to start turning? and you're sending blood flow to it. Right. Just stomping your feet. And those ancient practices that we used to do, like when grandma and them used to do, be outside and clapping, and you know, they could clean the house, they could clear the atmosphere of a house when they were what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, and you know sometimes it meant what? Business. Yeah. 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 So um, those things are still in existence when it comes to our health. So if clapping every day, you know you stimulate, you stimulating what? Your digestive system. Right here is your lungs. And remember I told you all your emotions is in your hand. Yeah. Yep. It's in your hand and feet. It's in the hand and feet. And whatever you do at night, you're gonna do what? Massage those hands. Why? Because you are you are actually touching every organ of your body and your, and your feet. The other thing here is that what's in your thumb? Remember we talked about that? Your brain, am I right? So here, just every day, just make contact with your brain with all the other fingers, okay? Susan does that. Yeah, just do it like this. Yeah, so you can make and stay connected. I'm telling you, anything we can do to slow down. Yes. Memory. We'll feel one in tomorrow. Yeah, to slow it down, you know, just, and you know, and it takes a minute because you gotta sit there quietly and just start pressing in. And while you're pressing in, you're increasing blood flow. Mm -hmm. And just massaging it, okay? And remember that the thumb holds the emotions of anxiety, worry, and depression. And that's what, what's the name? Make me up the, you know, do the thumb thing. Yeah, do the thumb thing. Work your thumbs and take your big toe and just massage that. Because where what else is in the big toe? The thumb, the brain, the brain. okay? So the brain is there, so do that. And that's why dancing is good, because now you starting to stimulate every organ in the body. Remember, we gotta jump up, and right. slide to the left, and slide to the right, so we're working our brain. That's true. Yeah. So there are things that we can do to help stimulate and slow down our cognitive, anything that causes it to accelerate. Mm -hmm. We can slow it down by just doing the things that we used to do and love to do. Yeah, I don't ever wanna stop dancing. And even if they bought a pine box to put me in, I still wanted to shake so everybody could leave the room. <laughs> you know, everybody clear the house then, yeah, wasn't it? They were like, oh my God, I can't stay in there. Do y'all have any questions? That was a good 30 minutes, wasn't it? Was. And it went fast. It went fast. Dance, dance, dance. I teach another class. Um, I know we just talked about the hands and that. I talk about how the neck is the channel from the brain to the body. And so because it's a channel, you seem to hold a lot of things weird on our shoulders. Yeah. yeah. So I mean we can we can talk about that.